It's still winter for one local basketball team as the Lebanon boys will make the trip to Durham, New Hampshire tomorrow to take part in the Division II semifinals at UNH. So in anticipation of the team's third straight trip to the Final Four, we thought we'd take a closer look into tomorrow's matchup. The Lebanon boys basketball team is no stranger to the Final Four, especially of late. But with 17 years separating the program from its last title, the Raiders have more motivation than ever heading into their third straight semifinal tomorrow night at the University of New Hampshire. In order to advance to Saturday's Division II championship for the first time since 1998, though, fourth-ranked Lebanon will need to oust a top-seeded Portsmouth team that has just one stain on an otherwise perfect 19-1 record. The Raiders earned their ticket to UNH behind a pair of impressive tournament wins, including a 22-point win over number 13 Oyster River in the first round and a 13-point victory over fifth-ranked Merrimack Valley in the quarterfinals. Sophomore guard K.J. Maddy has led the way with a combined 45 points in two tournament games, followed closely by classmate Ryan Milliken with 32. The Clippers, on the other hand, earned its trip to the Final Four by virtue of a 46-point win over number 16 Con Val in the first round and a 15-point victory over number 8 Hanover in the quarterfinals. Portsmouth is led by big man Cody Graham, who averaged just over 14 points per game over the regular season. I got a chance to speak with Austin Whaley after his team's win in the quarterfinals, and the junior told me he and his teammates are far from satisfied with solely getting to the Final Four. I've been to the Final Four every single year I've been here. I'm really grateful, but you know, nobody remembers a team that makes it to the Final Four, so we gotta make it the championship. I'm not satisfied. I'm, I'm really grateful, but I'm not satisfied until we get to that championship. I also got the chance to ask Lebanon coach Keith Maddy about the prospect of facing a top-ranked Portsmouth team that heads into tomorrow's semifinal with just one loss on its record. Well, they're really good. You know, they, they have good guard play. Um, they have a good big kid. You know, I, I think they, they, um, they're really well coached. Uh, you know, obviously they're 17 and 1. And, uh, you know, it, it'll be a challenge. There's no question about it. I mean, I'll have a better sense of how they'll be after I get home and watch film, but I wasn't going to allow myself to think ahead. So, yeah, Portis is very good. That, that I know for certain. Tomorrow's matchup will begin at 7.30 p.m. after the conclusion of the night's first semifinal between third-seeded Bishop Brady and 10th-ranked Goffstown. Now, Laura, back to you.